Welcome everyone to my channel. Today we have a question on simplification. The question is 3 to the power of 20 minus 3 to the power of 10. How do you simplify this without the use of the calculator? And so here, yeah, I'm going to be guiding you on how to simplify questions of this kind without the use of calculator by using some simple algebraic tricks in simplifying this. So, but before we go into today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop answer video, wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. Remember, this is all I must TV, and my name remains Jake's Anemo. Now, let's take our solution to this challenge. So, we take solution. All right, we put down the question, which says, 3 to the power of 20 minus 3 to the power of 10. Now, from here, I want to introduce something to the exponent. So, if I decide to write what I have here now as your 3 to the power of 20, okay, or to the power of 2, all over 2, minus 3 to the power of 10, or to the power of 2, all over 2, it has not changed anything because 2 all over 2 will give us 1. Okay, so 3 to the power of 20 or to the power of 1 is the same thing. Now, from here, if you have your a to the power of mn, this is same thing as a to the power of m bracket n, which is same thing as a to the power of n bracket n. Okay, so if we succumb to this rule, yeah. Then we can ship in these two inside. Okay, so if we shift this inside, then we have our expression to be your 3 to the power of 20 all over 2 all to the power of 2 minus your 3 to the power of 10 all over 2 or to the power of 2. Easy. So we can now use this 2 to divide this 20. And this will give us here 3 to the power of 10. The R to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 5 or to the power of 2. This has not really changed anything. Then we proceed again. Now, many looking at this, what comes to mind is the algebraic identity, which is known as the difference of 2 squared. So the difference of 2 squared says that if you have your x squared minus y squared, this is equal to your x plus y, close bracket, bracket, x minus y. I want to believe you remember this identity. So if we succumb to this identity, our 3 to the power of 10 is your x, yeah? And 3 to the power of 5 is your y here. So from here, we can now apply this to our function here. So this will now give us here 3 to the power of 10, then bracket to the power of 2, minus 3 to the power of 5, or to the power of 2. This is equal to your 3 to the power of 10 plus 3 to the power of 5, Close in bracket, bracket open, 3 to the power of 10 minus 3 to the power of 5. Easy. Now, from this expression here now, we can bring out the value of 3 to the power of 10. What is 3 to the power of 10? This implies 3 to the power of 10 will give us here 5, 9, 0, 4, 9 plus 3 to the power of 5 is 2, 4, 3. Close bracket. Same two we're going to have here. 5, 9, 0, 4, 9. Then minus 2, 4, 3. Yeah, we can use our normal simple arithmetic to add this and subtract this. So if we go by that, the first bracket will give us here 5, 9, 2, 9, 2. Okay, the bracket, bracket, open. If we carry out the subtraction here, we're going to have 5, 9, 0, 4, 9. 
0.58806 close bracket so if we multiply this with our long multiplication method then we're going to have this to be three four eight six seven two five three five two so this is our answer to this simplification i know with the help of the calculator you can simplify them and get your answer from here but without the use of calculator these is the procedure to solving a dix with ease okay all right so if you learn something from this short video tutorial give the video a thumbs up all right and also do not forget to share with those that need this knowledge among your friends remember this is all i must tv and my name is jake's animal you know what every one of us at all i must tv loves you so much most especially jake's loves you thanks for always be there bye for now